Hey Allure, it's me, Kat Graham, and this is my 10 minute beauty routine for a smoky eye. So what we're doing today is I'm gonna go through my beauty routine. Everyone knows pretty much I do my own makeup. And a huge reason why I like to do my own makeup, not just because I know my skin and my face better than anyone, is because I'm a busy girl. Always, always, always start with my brows. And then I, while I'm waiting on my brows to dry, I will condition my skin, like get it nice and hydrated. I have different products I use. My skin routine changes based on where I am. We're gonna start with brows. I always start with my brows first. I always believe your brows shape your face. I use Anastasia to do my brows. This is their brow gel. And this is the clear brow that has the brush on it. So what I like to do, my little trick, is I'll take this that already has a little bit of a gel and then I go in and shape my brows. Now, while my brows are drying from the gel, before I start, because a lot of people will just start painting and drawing their brows in right after the brow gel, like give yourself a minute. I'm all about letting your skin bake. I like to use my Sisley Paris. It's, it's a moisturizer, but they call it an ecological compound. Just one by my hands, massage my face. You see the difference? Depending on how much time I have and what kind of makeup I want to look do, uh, I'll use my Lancome Tonique Comfort. So I'm using a bit more hydration than I might necessarily normally do because we want to create a super dewy look. The last thing I will use is the Capture Youth Glow Serum by Dior. This has been my go-to for years. This is literally sometimes all I will use before I put on my makeup. But that's if I'm not trying to go for a super, super, super glowy look. So this is the Fenty Matchsticks. So I'm just gonna use it right here. So, you see it looks lighter than my skin tone. Wait for it. So, because we're going for a glowy look, there is Laura Mercier's Tinted Moisturizer Light Reveal. It's a natural skin illuminator. It's also an SPF. Personally, I have a couple sponges, but I usually don't use a sponge until it's like the last, last, last thing. I like to get in there, get my fingers in there. I'm not really a, a sponge girl per se. So we're going for this glowy look. The eyebrows are still baking. And I'm wearing a sweater, but normally I would just even take it down to the neck. I'm not gonna do too much, so I won't get makeup on my stuff. And a lot of people do their eyes first, especially if you're doing a smoky eye. I wouldn't blame you because the eyeshadow will fall and then you gotta redo your under eye. Like, I don't know why, I just do it probably backwards, but that's just what I do. While that's baking, uh, we are gonna finish the brows. This is my Anastasia Brow Definer. But I always go down first and, and create the shape. Now, you've seen, the Fenty does, it gets a little bit darker on my skin. I just go under my eye a bit here and then I'll do the bridge of my nose here and then do a little tree here at the top that goes here. I'll do the sides here, here, fully under my chin. And then you can't really see it much, but I'll go here and here to lighten it. So my skin is happy, it's behaving. My Danessa Myricks, it's her vision cream cover. I love this, I'm a number six. So I use that and you can see, and this is what I, these are the products I use when I really want that kind of dewy look where it feels super moisturized. This is my infallible fresh wear. I will use this to contour. I 
I'm telling all y'all my secrets. If you dig deep enough, you will find some not great moments that I have had very public on a carpet where I just didn't know how to do my own makeup. And I didn't have money to hire a professional makeup artist. Like I had to learn because I didn't want to spend three, $400. Now I can afford it, but now I'm, I, I learned it already. I know my face. I will use a cream blush if I really want to go for like a, a dewy look. This is um, Undone Beauty in 340 Rosewood. And one thing that nobody told me when I started doing makeup is like brushes matter. Kind of frustrates me when people do my makeup sometimes is I'll lose my freckles. And I love my black girl freckles. And I'll just go in and just try and find them. Where are you? There we go. I'm gonna do a little bit of a glow on the bridge of my nose, my, my cheekbones, and the top of my lip. And this is Danessa Myrick's shade Hot Water Dew Wet Balm. I love it. I live by it. It just gives me that dewy look without looking like I just slept on a bunch of highlighter. It looks like it's actually my skin. Ooh, the skin looking right. All right, y'all ready for some eyes? So I need to draw it out first so I can see it. And what I always do is I'll start with the ends. Do, do, and that decides the shape. I am using L'Oreal Paris's Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. So I feel like that's a good length, and then I'll match it to here. I'm just moving a little fast. Okay, it's one eye. All right, this is a, a pretty strong brush. This is just to kind of clean up the overall shape of it. And then I'm gonna go in with a different one. We're gonna clean up the inner corners as well because we're gonna do a little highlight. Huda Beauty's Topaz Obsessions. Sometimes I'll use my hands and just dab to get a little bit of access off. I go in the inner corners at the bottom. Now back to my Huda Beauty. There's a color in here that is a little bit warmer and I'm gonna just have it go in here through the crease. It's like a, it's like an orange. And to just kind of give a little bit of a brown or reddish undertone to create more depth. Sometimes a little bit of gloss is all you need, so. I'm gonna use my Hermine Gold Lovers, and I love it, and that's all I need. Today, I just made the executive decision that we're just gonna focus on the smoky eye, and the lashes are already gonna add a little bit of depth there. So I love my Ardell's Demi Wispies. First, before I even put them on, I'm going to Put my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara on. I'll start with my bottoms. And not too much because uh, I like to double it up. And next I'm gonna use my Essence Mascara in Princess. Okay. Okay guys, I'm officially done with my makeup. Normally I would powder and I would use my Benai Banana Luxury Powder, but because I'm trying to keep the glowy look and I don't wanna risk losing the glow, I will use Tatcha's Rice Paper and I'll just kinda really focus on my T-zones and steer clear of my cheekbone and that helps manage the shine. Because there's a difference between being shiny and glowy. And now I'm done. Thank you so much, Allure. I hope I gave y'all some helpful tips to do your own makeup and serve this look. I'll see you guys on the next one.